Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Coop Chronicles. Today, I sat down with ASWSU President Brian Patrick. Getting started, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hello, so my name is Brian Patrick. I'm the student body president. I was born and raised in Yakima, Washington, and then had my parents went to WCU, uh, two older sisters who went to WCU, so grew up going to Coug games, always knew I wanted to be a Coug, caught uh, Clay Thompson's last game here at Beasley, so always knew I wanted to be here. And what um, motivated you in your time at WCU to run for ASWSU president? I got involved in a business club called SHRM, which is Society for Human Resource Management. Um, became president of that during COVID and everything, but that was a lot of fun. Um, and one of my best friends who I met, and he's actually the vice president now, Alex Pan, he had been doing ASWC for three years. He's like, hey, I think you and I would have a shot at this. I think that like, uh, we've, we've done a lot for the community and we want to continue to give back and do more. So uh, we decided that we we're going to run together. So we spent, before you could even like apply or anything, spent like a month kind of prepping everything and then ended up running on a few different like platforms and stuff. So yeah. If you had like one signature highlight or something you're really proud of, what would you say it would be? I think kind of my signature highlight is, and nothing against the like people who were here before us, but they were, they had entire like Zoom experience. So they didn't have a lot to like kind of provide us with. So we came in fresh start, didn't really know what ASWC was. Um, and we just hit the ground running. Like I was driving over here in the summer from Yakima, um, meeting with administrators. So we had monthly meetings with uh, President Scholes. And then at the time it was Provost Chilton, who's now Chancellor Chilton. Um, the entire student affairs team, student involvement, and then we're meeting with athletics, we're meeting with residence life, we're meeting with kind of every single group that you can find on campus. Um, and now that like the first semester was really, I've, I've never led a team who's supposed to like advocate for an entire undergraduate student body, like it's not really, there's no class for that or anything. So. <laughs> What does a typical busy day in your life look like? Uh, so a typical busy day usually starts out, I try to wake up real early and get to the gym and then come home, get breakfast. Um, and then usually like my Tuesdays, Thursdays this year, kind of crazy. So I have like, I start class at nine and then I'm done at like 10, 25. And then usually I'm, I'm walking over here or I'm hopping on a Zoom right away. Um, and I have committee meetings, so that could be stuff about the UREC, that could be stuff about athletics, that could be stuff about uh, the CUB, it could be, there's like executive budget councils where we look at the entire WCU financial system um, and then we like debrief it and try and see on ways we can improve that, which is like what one WCU is. And then I go to class from 12 to like 3.55 or 4. We start presentations at four. So once I'm done with class, I'm in presentations till like eight. So it's kind of like a whole, a whole day. Uh -huh. Like kind of Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, I have a lot of class and stuff in there. Wednesdays are kind of the days that are nicer for me where I have one class. Um, and then I just try and schedule as many different meetings as I can throughout the day. What would you say to those people who do want to get involved, who maybe don't know where to start? Yeah, no, that's a great question. So ASWC has a lot of resources. So if anyone ever wants, they can just email me um, and I can kind of get you connected. We have multicultural groups. Uh, we have like KZUU and, and other kind of auxiliaries that are part of us. Uh, and then a lot of it is just like, if you see, you get a lot of emails from WCU, but sometimes they have something interesting in there. Like maybe something that's a little bit quirky. And I think it's just like fun to go out and try it. And maybe you don't like it. Um, and that's, I don't know, that's fine. It's like part of college, it's part of like living is you're not gonna enjoy every moment uh, of like your college experience. But when you get involved, you find like these little communities um, that like make you feel like you're really a part of WCU and like part of the family that's here. Like my dad worked in uh, KZUU, which is a little radio station down the road and he's still, 
whenever he comes into town, he like goes and checks it out and stuff, just because he's like, I, I loved it there. Like, it was such a great experience for me to get involved. And since you are the voice for the students, what would you say for if people have something that they feel passionate about, that they want driven forward within the community, how can they reach you? So if you just type in like to your Outlook school email, aswc.president at wc.edu, um, I'm busy, but I try to make time for students, especially when you have like concerns going on around campus. Um, so just shoot me like, you know, hey, I want to meet with you or hey, this is something I'm noticing. And I'm happy to get back to you on that. Uh, and then the other way too is we're up in Cub 314 and I'm here. If I'm not in class, I'm probably here. So like eight to five, Monday through Friday, there's someone uh, usually in one of these offices that can help you out too or, or try and find some sort of solution. My days like don't have to be that busy, but I like to try and talk to as many people as I can throughout the week. So some weeks it's less, um, but some weeks it's definitely a lot more.